you can see all into the Warren business and commercial area over here which is not in the city, but there's the city. Hopefully as well businesses have been moving out of town into the area. Every Sunday, so you can walk in nearby air communities. Come and get this beach, this beach cricket every Sunday. So I will now I will do a walk for a long. Do a car a little bit, land and see what shortly. Over here as well. And the Radisson over here. So the, the Radisson Hotel over here was once Grand Barbados and previously Holiday Inn. over here in a southern direction which is one of our better top class and luxurious hotels and most expensive to stay at So, I will make my way now along Charlotte Bay to a walk. That's great. Follow the small bar and grill over here as well. Follow the grill trip over here. So you follow the small bar and grill over here. Pebbles Beach, Barbados Clean. Come back at the Hilton Hotel over here.
So heading towards the Radisson Hotel once again. Looking back in a southerly direction towards the Hilton. Mm, yeah, yeah. You can see the Barbados Cruises Club here. Uh, this is a photo of our first Prime Minister, father of independence and national hero, the very excellent Errol Walton Barrow. <coughs> and this is the Radisson Hotel here, which was previously Holiday Inn. Then Grand Barbados, now it is the Radisson or Africa Resort Barbados. Back at the Radisson Aquatica Resort. Yes, guys. Now heading on to Bear Street. And the Brown Sugar restaurant is through here. I was through here. I haven't seen Brown Sugar open since COVID. This is about four years now. Uh, Brown Sugar haven't been in operation. Back through to the Hilton and Radisson Hotel and Pebbles Beach through here. This we are back up towards the garrison and the south coast, the, the Barbados Defense Force and St. Anne's Barracks and so on. You see the Barbados there's a power here and the Ubis gas station and so on. And I forgot to mention that this is the former Juicy factory that used to manufacture the Juicy drinks. Years ago, the Juicy GAU Dash C carbonated drink. Juicy used to be in here up until between 2000 and 2001 when they moved out or when they closed down. And this is the street now, this is the main artery into the city if you are coming from the south coast. Back up the street to the Juicy Factory and the salt to the garrison with the Marbella Defense Force and so on. And this is the total laundry and the cleaning services where the stage where cleaning services used to be. 
Uh, this is their site plaza here. And this is the wall for the Barbados Yacht Club. You see the Sarbanians, Sarbanians gas station, the Barbados Yacht Club. And you can see the Radisson Hotel in the background. This is the Barbados Yacht Club here. This is all Bear Street, which is the main artery into the city if you are coming from the south coast. And this road here to the right will be leading to Chelsea Road. And this will be Chelsea Road. That will lead you back to the side of the garrison with the paddock. And back to the Bearland, Bearville area. Bearville, Bearland area. And back to the garrison, the side of the garrison, more closer to the museum side. And this is Chelsea Road here. Oh, the one for the Barbados Yacht Club. Looking back up Bear Street by the South Banyan's gas station and the Banyan Court Apartments is right here as well. So this gas station was marked shell first before it was sold. This was Clifton Apartments. I think the building is now for rent. A restaurant was in here at one point. Or Clifton Terrace behind here. I never went behind here right yet though, but I passed it. And this is the great room. Restaurant and sports bar here. Walking down Bear Street. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy with two channels, so I'll tell him here. Yeah. Okay. You can see the coffee, the aside bar and restaurant here, which is a Guyanese owned restaurant. Mm, sorry. You can see all the Caribbean flags, mostly Caribbean, Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad, Guyana. You can see England, America. This is the 
coffee to be inside the restaurant. And you can see the take now the can England, America, and Canada. And this is the Nautilus Beach Apartments behind here. Government Information Service building here. Another pathway to Bounce Beach, a window to Bounce Beach. This is also a part of Charlotte Bay. And this is the Police Boys and Girls Club here. And this is the former Government Information Service building. And it was originally the Bay Street Boys School. They are national heroes, the Gaffey School Boys School was also referred to as the best protector the world has ever seen. You can see this primary education here. The Police Boys and Girls Club here. Place. Prime Minister's office and government headquarters over here. And the Bay Street Esplanade over here as well. All Bounce Beach. You can see all Bounce Beach over here. And this is the Prime Minister's office and government headquarters over here. You can back across the Bay Street. Uh, this is the statue of one of our national heroes, Sir Grantley Herbert Adams, who was the founder of the Barbados Labour Party. And uh, he was the leader of the government. A premier, a premier of Barbados from 1946 to 1958, and he was the Prime Minister of the West Indies from 1958 to 1962. This statue was carved by the locals, Barbadian sculptor Carl Budhagen, who he was a Guyanese born Barbadian sculptor who also sculpted the Emancipation Statue at Hagen Hall, which is also a national. Hero Buster is also one of our national heroes. And Carl Budhagen carved this statue in 1998 and it was unveiled on National Heroes Day, which is also the birthday of Sir Grantley Herbert Adams. So, thank you guys for watching now. Have a blessed evening.